An estimated 90 million Brazilians are using WhatsApp to escape some of the highest mobile phone charges in the world. So when a court decided to block it again, the news was greeted with dismay. The ban really gets in the way of day-to-day -day activities, as I use it for work. It's crucial for me to contact friends. It's crazy that it's happening for the third time. But others seem quite relieved to see the highly popular app blocked. I broke my husband's phone because of all the women sending him kisses and love hearts. I think it is breaking up lots of couples. Because so many women don't want to know about anything other than WhatsApp, they are forgetting about their work, their dinner, their children, all for WhatsApp. I think it should end once and for all. It shouldn't have even started. The judge had said that Facebook, which owns the service, had refused three times to hand over information about calls to police working on a criminal investigation. She said the app could not be used as a protective shield for crime. WhatsApp says that privacy is in its DNA and it also can't technically provide the information. But less than four hours after WhatsApp had been blocked, the Supreme Court suspended the ban saying the lower court's ruling had been disproportionate. It seems clear that there are parts of the Brazilian justice system frustrated by the limits of modern phone taps in criminal investigations. Judges are still trying to reach an understanding with WhatsApp on how to collaborate over crime without compromising individual freedoms. Candice Piet, BBC News.